Rival horsey people. We're back with Rival Stars Horse Racing, and it is obviously one of the best horse games out there. Though, coming to 2022, we're going to have some pretty awesome, awesome games coming out. So yeah, subscribe, guys, if you want to see some awesome future games. It's going to be good. Guys, from February, we're going to have a sub-series. So you guys who suggest videos in the comment sections will hopefully have their video idea selected, and then we'll do the video. Yeah. We're gonna make it, as long as it's YouTube friendly. And you'll get a shout out, of course. Of course. So yeah, it's gonna be wicked. But today guys, I just wanted to show you guys, cause some of you have keep asking me, um, like what is cre the creation hub? So what's the creation hub in Rival Stars Horse Racing? Well, because I have the desktop version, and I, I've got the desktop version through Steam. So I bought it on there for about 35 pounds. In English money so I think it's about $40 something like that so we have community creations which are all creations that oh no I uh, don't know why that's broke but anyway these are cr uh, creations that you guys have like made or people who just play the game have made so it's cool so I've made loads in the future in the future in the past <laughs> maybe if I like get the right side of the time yes yeah, so these are all the ones i've made so far because i'm crazy we do actually have videos to all of these like we made all like famous race horses we made some disney horses who else did we make we made loads of people uh we did yeah so we made spirit and rain vlegro obviously dressage horse this was actually a custom creation of myself of a dream ho dream horse i wanted silver fox is the first custom creation horse for the channel uh yeah and so was Aria, so that's really wicked. And these are some I downloaded that I thought were really cool. So this one here, I never see this coat pattern here. So I don't know if that's like a mobile phone one or something. So this is the horse creator. So what we can do here is we can, you know, change to Meryl Stallion, you know, and then you can change whether it's a front, middle or back you know, where it runs best in the race. This can make a difference. I personally like front runners. But that's just the way I, like, I prefer front runners, but a lot of you guys are telling me you prefer back runners, so yeah. Uh, you can change what distance preference your horse likes as well. I like to go somewhere in the middle, because that way it kind of, you're closer to all the ends, if you know what I mean. And then you can actually change your track surface as well, which is kind of cool. Yeah, so here we go. My favorite bit, obviously you can change the name as well. So we're gonna call this one Creation. We'll just call this one Creation for now. Um, so yeah, you can change the grade of the horse, which is wicked. The pain in the butt bit you can do is like hold this down with an arrow, oh, like this. And you can edit their speed, sprint energy, and acceleration. So yeah, you can get yourself a tap horse Warning though, when you select it to be able to buy it in story mode, it will cost you 24 and a half million pounds. Ha ha ha. So being a grade 10 with all these levels, it's going to cost you a lot. Uh, my favorite bit of the game is the appearance. So you can change what colors we have. That's really cool. I never breed that coat pun. So uh, there's still loads of colors on here that we need to breed. Maybe we should do a breeding video where it's like breeding coats I've never bred <laughs> like that I've never bred that one never bred this one this is probably a new one I feel like this is a new coat pattern here so we will actually discuss some of the new coat patterns like that is definitely new oh my goodness so yeah super excited about all this I don't like this white nape look to be honest uh yeah so there's all these different coat patterns I think they look best on a black horse, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I think they look really good. So these are your custom creations here, I love that. We actually went through a stage of just breeding this. So much, so much. So um, yeah, there's still so many I need to breed. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Some of you guys have also asked for uh, dapples. So we'll be doing a breeding dapples video in the sub-series. So yeah, sub-series is gonna really, really uh, test me as a person, which is going to be good. I love the black splash white. I'm going to take a picture of the black splash white because that looks so cool. Um, yeah, so we're going to do things like hopefully one of you guys has asked for like a day in the life, like a real life video with me and my horses. So that's going to be fun. I just work six days a week at the moment because I'm crazy. Uh, I don't n necessarily want to work six days a week, but I'm working at stables at the moment to help like learn because it's something I want to do in the future because I'm a musician at the moment. <laughs> I love that. That is so nice. 
Uh, oh my gosh, look at this one. See, I have not bred that yet either. So there's so many coat patterns here that I have yet to, dis to discover. Peacock Appaloosa is a bit like, yeah, you love it or you hate it, you know? So yeah, there's loads here like that. D never bred that. Um, yeah. What is the weirdest colour or should I say the most unique coat pattern that you have bred so far? Could you remember what it was? And maybe we've covered the name of it here. I don't know. Like this one I want to breed more of. This is cool. So I think that's about it. Well, I say that. There is so many coat patterns. Like I've never bred that one. Never bred that one. Never bred any of these, really. I'm pretty pants, actually. I've not bred many. <laughs> oh, we have lots to do, but that's a good thing. So what you can do there is change. So they're all your patterns. And then you have all these different coat patterns as well. So if I go through them all, they're very different. Some of them come with a blue eye and some don't. So yeah, I mean, there's a bit of a glitch going on at the moment. That's why we've got ginger hair everywhere. Oh, okay, no, it's changed, good. So yeah, you can literally change whatever you like. So one of the videos that you guys have suggested for the sub-series is to make a dream custom creation horse. Uh, but then loads of you are asking me like, oh, what's the custom creations? Because those who have mobile, which are the majority of you, you don't get custom creations yet. I don't know, they update this game quite often. So you never know you might get the opportunity of custom creations. Likewise, we might be getting, I love Dunn. Dunn's a great, is that Dunn? I don't know what that is actually. Um, yeah, we might be getting the cross country, which I love. So yeah, these are pretty much all the coat patterns here guys, which is great fun. So obviously like breeding foals in this game is like endless. <laughs> I know the genetics aren't particularly like, yeah, uh, accurate. But you know, okay, and then you can change the face. Like, there's some cool stuff on here. Like, what is that? Like a little star, uh, Phantom of the Opera face. That's how I see it. You can have a little Maui's hook or question mark. Um, yeah, there's loads of different face marks, which I kind of love here. Even this one that looks like they've had milk. You can't really see it, but it looks like they've been slubbing on milk. So yeah, you can literally make your own horse on here. How cool is that, right? So yeah, this is endless. There are so many face markings here. It's ridiculous. You've got your badger faces, your bold face and everything. Uh, you can also edit each and like every individual leg, which is cool. So you can have a long sock, a short sock and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, so that is it guys. This is how custom creation works. And then you can press randomize, which is fun. I actually love that. If that stayed with the orange hair, I'd have that. So it's just a bit of a weird glitch at the moment that's going on. But yeah, that's custom creation, guys. So yeah, you can change everything here. And then if we go back, uh, can I hang on, keep editing. Let's just save this guy for a minute. Okay, we'll upload the horse. It's just a very standard horse. I mean, I probably could have gone with something a bit fancier, but hey, but his name's Spaghetti. So, you know, so what you can do now is you can, in your collection here, you can show in story mode market. So then when you go to story mode, let's do that now. He might come up in the market, hopefully. It might take us a while to find him. It's gonna take us ages. He'll be like the last one. Let's be typical. Uh, so we're a little mare there, Sandy. Oh, I love all these. Where is he? Where's Spaghetti? There, he, there she is. So there's our custom creation that we had there. So yeah, she's only 5,000 pounds, but hey, that was cool. So if you're breeding for colors, I guess you could get in cheap custom creation colors, I suppose. We could actually do that. That's a good idea. We could definitely do that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So here's your custom creation again. So let's see if this is working now. Probably not. It's probably gonna crash on me because my computer keeps crashing at the moment. It's really annoying. If it crashes, we'll end. Hey, here we go. So here's all your creations or other people, other players. So some of you guys aren't here and you have actually made me horses. And you called them Lady Ranger or whatever. Uh, yeah, so this is Wicked. There's loads of different ones on there. Uh, we tend to like the spot theme, I feel. <laughs> so, yeah, another reason to buy the desktop. So some of this has actually um, uploaded, so that's good. Oh, I don't know what's going on here. See any more? Okay, it's not loading. Okay, and actually you can download this horse. So say let's download damage effect. So then you download the horse and then you go view your collection and then your your download should be somewhere around here. Might be the end. Hmm. There, this one. There it is. So you've got your downloaded content and your created content. And the ones that are listed like this one, 
and you can take them off the market if you want as well. So yeah, pretty easy, I guess. So I really enjoy this side of the game. It's my favorite, well, one of my favorite parts, apart from the fold bit, of course. So yeah, make sure you subscribe guys because the sub series, we are gonna be creating a perfect, <laughs> or a dream, because nothing's perfect in life, a dream horse in custom creations. And then we're gonna be breeding said dream horse with all of our other horses so that's our plan guys okay guys it's just a short sweet video today i just wanted to show you about horse creator on the desktop version of rival stars horse racing that's it that's all there is okay guys have a wholesome rest of your day if that was useful please give us a massive thumbs up and i'll see you in the next video have a wholesome rest of your day thanks guys bye